Hello YouTube. My name's Frank Biscardi and uh, thought I'd try to do a proper video uh, of just turning something simple so I could practice my editing and, and uh, post a little wood turning video on making a wine cork stopper. Uh, this is a very simple way to do it, lots of other ways to do it, but just the, the way I'm going to give it a shot. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Uh, attaching something like this to the lathe is difficult because you can only put so much pressure on this without breaking it. This is a uh, number two Morris taper from a uh, little machine shop and it goes on the lathe on a drawbar. I've used it only once or twice before and it's a little loose, but for ten dollars it's a pretty good solution. The other thing I did was went ahead made a hole for my tailstock spur to sit in. Being a beginner, the hardest thing for me is getting my tool rest the right height. And we're going to spin this pretty quickly, a couple thousand RPM. Right about the formation. Call it a roughing gouge, but you can actually do pretty nice work with it.
just get this really glassy looking finish. I do a lot of sanding because I make a lot of mistakes, but the really good turners hardly sand anything. Just fine papers. Okay, so we can start to shape this up. by the distance between here and here.
best way to avoid catching is to be very careful about how you present the tool. Having a tool rest too far away is not helping. I hadn't meant to make that that way, but it looks all right. So there are no mistakes in wood turning, it's just design changes. And we got the worst of the sins out. here is too far that makes it that makes it really hard to control your tool properly hardwood and it keeps chipping. And when that happens the thing to do is probably to stop and resharpen. Which gives me the opportunity to show you 
something that's changed my turning completely is this little fella. This is Captain Eddie Castlin's Black Hawk Jig. Before I was trying to freehand turn things, and I was ruining my gouges, wasting metal. I apologize, I did not have the camera on for some of this. These tropical woods are, uh, you got to be careful with them because many of them are highly allergenic and I'm in fact allergic to one of these, I'm not certain which one. So I've, uh, I've rigged up this mechanism to dust on, catch my shavings on the lathe. couple bricks of paper and this is where you want to stop and look carefully and see are there voids, are there pits, are there cracks that have to be repaired, are there things you're just not happy with that you're not going to be able to fix with sandpaper and you can't fix everything with sandpaper. And I, I think considering this is a burl I've got it about as smooth as I can so I'm going to do some decorating things on it and then come back and finish sand it. part off the end of this. Sand it down to 600 grit. Unfortunately, I've got a little hole here in the end. Um, I punched a hole in there with an awl to hold it on to the tail center. Um, I guess that's an unavoidable mistake at this point. Um, bench polish. I'm a cabinet maker. 
mostly. And I really like shellac because I'm terrible with a brush. And it's really, it's such a beautiful finish. And it's soluble out of ethyl alcohol, so it's not some horrible thing to breathe. very durable finish if you don't get it wet. Oh my, look at that burl. See how the light hits that? Nope. Don't usually use a lot of tropical wood because I sort of have a little problem with people cutting down rainforests. But this is, uh, these are just little scraps that are used for this sort of thing that otherwise, uh, would have been thrown away or burned or some horrible thing done with them, so to make something artful with a little scrap of something precious probably okay. The wax I use is a mixture of beeswax, cornuba wax, and um, cornuba beeswax and mineral oil, which I melted together. And I read about this. I had some wax because I keep bees. My friend Jim Kane gave me some wax too. And I made some. I don't think it works as any better than any other wax. It's okay. You can just use butcher's wax out of the can. You want to turn the lathe up pretty fast, and this is called burning in the finish. Wax finishes are nice, they're sort of temporary. You have to renew them. Uh, but I like the wax because it makes it harder to, um, you know, anything wet or with alcohol in it will, will ruin your, your shellac finish, but the wax really uh, does protect it pretty nicely. So, I'll just take this off now. And go mount it on our cork. These are the, uh, the waste from, from the French polish, and it does contain linseed oil, which can spontaneously combust as it uh, polymerizes and, and dries. So. Don't put it in your trash bin with your sawdust. Uh, I never really believed that, but someone told me that. So I always put my waste of material in my barbecue grill. I opened the barbecue grill one day to barbecue something, and there was a bunch of burned rags in there. So, so that's just a little bit of medium cyanoacrylate glue. And this just has to be trimmed off. And you've got a bottle stopper. Well, thanks for watching. If I can figure out how to edit this, I'll, I'll do another video on something a little more imposing. Thanks for supporting my channel.